Hello Basketball Friends, welcome to my sports stream channel. In this opportunity I bring you the simulation of this exciting basketball game in the best league of the world, the NBA. To all lovers of this beautiful sport, I regret to say I don't broadcast the video of the game live. But from time to time I stream my favorite team's games, the Dallas Mavericks. Or crucial game for the playoffs, teams in the top of the classification or postseason games. I hope you join me in this simulation with the NBA 2K game engine, because the end of the game will be amazing, and we will not know the winner until the end of the game, so don't miss this simulation because it will be unbreakable. Thanks, and I will leave you with the game. Y para todos mis amigos de la hispana, en esta oportunidad te traigo la simulación de este emocionante juego de baloncesto en la mejor liga del mundo, la NBA. Para todos los amantes de este hermoso deporte, lamento decirte que no transmito el video del partido en vivo, pero de vez en cuando transmito los juegos de mi equipo favorito, los Dallas Mavericks. O un juego crucial por los playoffs, equipos en lo más alto de la clasificación, o juegos de postemporada. Espero que suenen a mí en esta simulación con el motor de juego NBA 2K, porque el final del juego será asombroso y no conoceremos el ganador hasta el final del juego. Así que no se pierdan esta simulación porque será impredecible. Gracias y te dejo con el juego. John Henson out there with Maker. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. Then there's Tony Snell. And it's Bledsoe in at the point guard position. Hey, Greg, when you look at all the dunks that DeAndre Jordan has on his resume, it's pretty impressive. And Jordan, I feel, is even underrated with his dunking ability. Very agile. You can see that in warm-ups as well as the dunk contest. His unmatched power when attacking the rim, really unprecedented. He may be the best athlete in the league. And he comes up with the deuce. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Boy, like his intensity, Greg. He's not afraid to take it straight to the rack on the bigger defender. Right at it. Knock the pass to Barnes. From the baseline. Again, the Mavericks score. Boy, the quick release of Barnes is really something to behold, Kevin. A knockdown mid-range shooter who strokes it with confidence. Here's Snell, covered by Barnes, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. That's He's good. on his way to the line for one more. Yeah, What's exceptional shot? play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. I like to call that stick tuitiveness, Greg. Getting everything he possibly could out of that play. Nicely done. <laughs> good call. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Henson. Ilyasova comes in for Thon Maker. And under Takumbo, subbed in for Eric Bloodso. The Bucks making a switch here. Middleton's checked in. Barnes can't get it to go. And that layup is usually going in, especially when the defense is as lazy as that. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Jordan the screen. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Barnes. Barnes, one of the best catch and shoot guys around. Awesome at feeling out the defense and then taking advantage of what's available. 
Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The buildings of downtown reflecting off the gentle waters of beautiful Lake Michigan. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can... Clark, when you look back at all the coaching you received and all the coaches that you've covered, what allows a coach to have a team buy in to what he wants to do? I think there are a couple of things there, Kevin. One is authenticity, being who you are as a man and a coach. Whatever your personality is, whatever your hallmark pillars are as a coach, the things that you uh, don't allow to be negotiated, staying true to that. But authenticity is huge. And then adaptability, being able to be flexible uh, within um, your authenticity. Those things, to me, give you the most credibility as a coach and give you a chance to, to, to one, be enjoyable to play for and also successful. Here's who Rick Carlisle starting the second half with. Matthews and Barnes, they're the wings. And there's Doc. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. Pops it up for Jordan and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Bad turnover, plain and simple. No other way to describe it. I mean, he just threw it out of bounds. A different look for Milwaukee. John Henson's checked in for Lopez. Von Maker comes in for Eliasova. And Tony Snell subbed in for Chris Middleton. I mean, watch Giannis out there. He just looked unstoppable, Greg, at times. The way he's able to attack the rim, the blend of size, uh, speed, and length is just unparalleled in the NBA. And it's the movement that throws you off with Giannis. One step, and, and he's gone from the three line to the rim. There isn't any way to stop someone that skilled who's that big. Brogdon, he's checked in for the Bucks. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Jordan, the screen, Doc, another three for Dallas. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Greg, that's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Here's Snell, covered by Barnes. Maker misses. Mavericks trail by three. Barnes kicks to Jordan for the tie, and there's Barnes. That's good on the assist by Jordan. Barnes has got 14. Boy, you got to respect the long-range accuracy of Barnes now. When he gets a little daylight, he's dangerous from the perimeter. And he gets it to go. And 11 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, beautiful play on the interior. They're just using the height advantage to lay the ball up and in when they really needed that basket. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Bucks lead by two. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Willing to give in other areas. And you have to take care of home base. Otherwise, it's going to be attacked all night, and that's not going to reflect well for you on the scoreboard. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. On the perimeter, it's Middleton and Giannis. Brooke Lopez is out there with Maker, and it's Brogdon in at point guard. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And Matthews kicks to Barnes. Baseline try. That shot is off. Good D by Matthews. His first shot coming late. Two points. That one goes. And this has been a clinic on what not to do defensively. Just atrocious. Yeah, I would expect both coaches to really get on their teams about adjusting their defensive mindset and execution going forward. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen there, but got him just enough room to get that shot off. Sinks it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And you're starting to see some tired legs on those defenders as we come down the stretch here, Clark. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, fatigue really a factor. You can see the heavy legs, and that's why he was wide open on that shot. The defender just couldn't get to him. And it's still within reach. But they have to be really close to perfect from here on out. I mean, they have to get their offense right on target, right on point immediately. And this atmosphere is bananas electric in here. I mean, that was a tremendous shot. This crowd all over. Turned up. 
Middleton with a screen for Brockton. Pass to Middleton. Six to shoot. Here's on to Takumbo. On to Takumbo. Can't get that one to fall. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that. Agree with you there, partner, because that screen really freed him up nicely, and that's a shot that if you're a pro, you need to make that. And so... All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you later. Audio Jungle.